Hi, this is Entertainment News on Channels Television and I am Mayowa Ogundele. This is a fun side of life, so let your hair down, take a deep breath and enjoy. We've had quite a busy week, but I'm sure that popular movie maker Kunle Afolayo will say the same. So quickly, let's take you over to the much talked about movie premiere of his latest work, October 1, which hit the cinemas on Independence Day. Come with me. Our great nation, Nigeria, will be independent in two weeks. Kule Afolayan's much talked about October 1st movie premiere did not disappoint. <laughs> The movie's lead characters, Nollywood's big wigs and fans trooped out in their numbers to celebrate the official release of the historic yet fictional work of art. This is no ordinary event as guests are teleported back to the 60s for just one night. When we got the invitation to the premiere, it said to come old school, 60s, 70s, I believe, 60s, 70s. And I thought long and hard. I'm like, everybody's going to want to look all dapper and cute. Well, I'm here to support Kunle Afalayo. He's one of our like, leading lights in Nollywood right now. I'm really excited about his, his vision and just the way he looks at film. I expect to see the best. Kule is good at what he does. We all know him so well. He's very good. He'll go all out to get the best out of his movies while producing it, while working on it. So I expect to see the best tonight. It's going to come out nice. I trust Kule. I think it's a good movie. I mean, you can even see from the character on the red carpet that they, they, they don't miss out on details. Detective Inspector Danny Waziri that native police officer. Leave for a coaty first thing in the morning. I require the dark psychological thriller movie, written by Tunde Babalola, tells the story of a police officer from northern Nigeria posted to a remote town of Akote in western Nigeria to investigate the frequent murder cases of female in the community and have the mystery solved before the Nigerian flag is raised on Independence Day. Don't you touch me! Now you see I was in primary school myself, so it's like sort of a recreation of something that is fiction, but again that actually has historical perspective. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant work. We are to see the premiere, to be part of the premiere, and of course uh, to relieve a few of our historical facts, kind of. And of course, I want to experience the, the hard work that went into packaging this film, the research and all. I want to see professionalism at work. I'm expecting a great show. I've been privileged to have a few clips of it at a police place. And I've had so much story. All he put together, all his effort he put together to do this film. So I'm expecting a great movie. Perhaps that will turn out to be the best move ever shot in Nigeria. Mrs. Ransom Kuti. Oh, JB. I cannot sweep it under the rug. You listen to me! You'll do your... October 1st, which was shot in Lagos and Ondo State for about 50 days, boasts of an interesting cast featuring Kendi Bankoli, Bimbo Manuel, Kanayo O Kanayo, veteran television broadcaster Sadiq Daba, Fabian Adewe Lojedi, new act, Dimala Adedoin and one of Nigeria's biggest fashion exports, Diola Sagoi. You should talk by your seat. Arrest him. Yes, no policeman. This is a good day. Can arrest my papa. Well, there has been a lot of period film, uh, but this is a bit different because um, uh, one, it talks about the beginning of Nigeria as a nation, and it also talks about um, where we, we, we are right now and it talks about where we are going to be in, in the future. And uh, it's not just a film, it's something that captures the essence of who we are as Nigerians. I played Tower in the movie 
uh, it is about politics. It's about the future of Nigeria. It's about well, some controversies, definitely, but it's also about unity. And it's about fun and adventure, because apart from the serious parts of it, there certainly are the you know, entertaining sides to it. Was more than like this, um, the innocent house man that, that, were, that was killed by Kanayo or Kanayo. I didn't know what I've done to him. I didn't kill his daughter. He thought I killed his daughter because he got me with one of the props. Somebody killed her, he dropped it, I was innocent. I was coming from Ilori, going back to the north, from the uh, cow trailers dropped and then started getting leaves. I now came to that volatile area. Eventually I fell into trouble and that cost me my life. My name is Sadiq Daba. I'm a broadcaster, a journalist. And uh, maybe you should, uh, people add, actor, I don't know. Inspector Danladi Waziri, policeman. Detective. That's what I did. It was a good experience as an actor. It was a learning experience as well to be on set with Sadiq Daba, Fabian Lojode, Kanayo, and Kayal Okanayo. Oh, yeah. The day, there was a particular scene we shot, and uh, it was a funeral scene, and um, I cried all day. And I'm not kidding. From morning till evening, till we lost sunlight, the, the sunlight I was crying. And that was the only scene we shot that day, and it involved me crying, so I was basically crying all day. You listen to me! But that's not all. British actors Nick Rice and David Bailey also played key roles. Kenya. Case closed. He's not a nice guy. In fact, he's a really reprehensible, unpleasant guy. Uh, thankfully, he's not in it very much. Um, but, uh, but yes, he... Uh, it, it was horrible having to play a horribly racist man. The movie hit cinemas on October 1st, 2014. But what should fans expect? I think I know the killer. 